I found a great Airbnb alternative and it's called Verbo. V-R-B-O. Anyway, let's check out what they have to offer. Roll that intro. Hi all, Keith here, welcome to the video. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Anyway, as you may know, if you've been watching uh, here recently, we've been giving you some Airbnb options in the Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area. Well, I recently discovered this other company called Verbo, I think, it's B-R-B-O, and they have a lot of great options as well. So if you don't like the Airbnb options, I'd suggest checking this out too. Let's jump in and, and look at a few options that made me say, whoa. And side note, if I look a little red today, <laughs> there's nothing wrong. I just spent a little too much time in the sun. But hey, it's all good. Now let's look at the cabins. All right, so this is the first one we're gonna look at here. So as you can see, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. And I would like to point out they do have a minimum of three nights stay, which, I mean, if you're going to Gatlinburg, you're probably gonna stay for more than three nights anyway, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's just take a look at a few pictures here. Now, first, this one, I mean, this is really where it's at, this outside area with this deck, and you know, I think that's about the call over there, and it's just, I mean, I don't know, you can spend hours out here just relaxing and chilling. Here's sort of a look into the uh, cabin. I kind of like how they have all the leather chairs just sort of circling the fireplace and the TV there, looking out over the view. Here's another side view with more seating out there. And this place does have a nice hot tub out on the deck too, which is awesome. Just, I think this is the upper deck with some more seating. Looking out at your amazing views and your Adirondack chairs. And uh, the bedrooms. So this bedroom at least is pretty huge with a king size bed there. And there's the bathroom. It looks pretty nice. Another view back in the bathroom. And here's another bedroom. Looks like another king size bed with a futon in there. Another bathroom here. And this place is actually called the TriStar Lodge. I mean, there's just views all over, and it looks like there's a decent amount of parking, which is good. Huge kitchen area with a large table and like a bench back there for extra seating. Pretty nice kitchen. Updated, it looks like uh, granite countertops and dishwasher, pretty nice fridge, everything you'd need. There's a look back into the living room, dining room area from the kitchen. And here's the last of the three bedrooms. Looks like again, another king size bed. This one also has like a movie theater room, which is nice, which is super awesome. I mean, kids will love that and so would I. They have a nice grill out on your deck there. And just, I mean, these views for days. And this is the last picture, just sort of a wider shot show you the parking situation which looks really good that was a great one to start us out with but we got more to look at so let's keep going now this one is actually like sort of halfway in between Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge dancing bear retreat the luxury lodge as you can see this one there's four bedrooms it sleeps ten four bathrooms one half bath and again a minimum three month night stay right out of the jump here like this log cabin just looks really nice I don't know it looks nice and secluded up in here and there's like a hot tub over here and all the seating out of here uh, balcony. We love it. Sort of a top-down shot. You can sort of see the parking situation a little bit better too with this one. Oh, here's your view that you got off the deck. Yes, and there's a grill back there. Mm -hmm. There's inside looking out at your view. Again, just a stunning view. But this is what really got me on this cabin was this. Like the inside areas of this cabin are just super, super high end and feel really nice. Like this little living room slash, you know, pass through to the kitchen in there. It's, it's, it's so awesome. Plus, I just really love the over-the-top log cabin feel of this one. And it does have sort of its own private little uh, gated entrance here, if that's something you're into. Just another look at off the deck here, um, more over by your grill. Looks like a nice size grill. And your look in your kitchen here, it's kind of like a galley-style kitchen here, but it's super high-end looking and nice. Like this cooktop seems pretty huge and this oven seems huge too. <laughs> Here's kind of a wider look. Uh, you can sort of see the railing overlooking the uh, great room and the dining room off in the distance back there. Sort of a better look at the dining room right there. And this is looking back towards the main entrance here towards the uh, stairs that go up and or down. This looks like your half bath here. And here's one of the bedrooms. That looks like a queen size bed if I had to guess. It's got a nice ensuite attached it looks like with a nice 
soaking tub. Again, just like these logs everywhere. I don't know, just the over the top log cabin feel of this place is awesome. <laughs> But it does have a nice stand-up shower there, too. Uh, here's another bedroom. Looks like uh, this one's probably a queen-size bed, too. And it does have a separate bedroom here. The two twin beds, nice for the kids. Another bathroom. And it does have this room here. There's uh, two queen beds, it looks like. Another nice jacuzzi tub. And that's uh, right off of the game room here. It looks like it's downstairs. Got a little bar and a refrigerator down here, too. Here's another look. A little bit further back, you can see there's a seating area behind where the pool table and bar was. They have like a little game table off on the side, which is, that's pretty fun. And here's a look outside in the hot tub. And they got a nice table on the uh, lower deck here to swing. It's a really nice looking cabin. All right, that was our second option here. I think the views on the first one were better, but the overall look and the feel of the cabin in this one just blew me away, so that's why I had to include it. Okay, and to round it out here, we got a huge cabin with an indoor pool. And this one only has a two-night minimum stay, but the price is a little bit tasty, as you might expect, for some place like this that sleeps 21 people. It has its own indoor pool with a hot tub with an amazing view. I mean, what? And here's one of the bedrooms and this place is really nice too kind of not over the top with the huge logs like the last one but i really like the look of the logs on this one this is probably like a king size bed i like this room with the windows and things like that and here's sort of a look into your like living room dining room kitchens i think back here but look at these wagon wheel chandeliers that's kind of unique and awesome and because this place sleeps 21 you gotta have a lot of room to feed people so this has got a lot of seating in here <laughs> i really like the inlays that they did into the wood here with the brick kind of matching the uh river stone look of the fireplace it's really nice now this place has some amazing outside areas too like look at this all these rocky chairs i think there's a fire pit down there more seating it's all covered a grill there and in like an outside kitchen with like a outside stove just look back at your view from your picnic table as you're eating oh yeah there's the fire pit and your grill here's sort of the view from the front now there is quite a bit of parking here one two three four, five parking spots uh, but it looks like you can go a couple deep in some of them so you might need that parking if you're gonna really have 21 people here <laughs> there's a look in the kitchen kind of like a galley style but really nice looking the appliances are really nice like they even have a wine fridge so you know that's pretty unique nice uh half bath there pretty nice bedroom here look at how tall the ceilings are in this room <laughs> that's huge and this bathroom though like what this sink and this really nice soaking tub I, don't, I can't tell if it's a jacuzzi or just a soaker but that shower head and I don't know, it just really looks neat in here. And going up the stairs here, and they have this area up here. It's kind of like a lofty area for the kids, which would, I'm thinking would be super fun for them because they got like three queen beds in a row, like some whole bunch of storage and a TV for them to watch. And here's another bedroom, two sets of queen beds, it looks like in this one. It's got its own uh, ensuite with this one with a super awesome shower. Jeez, look at that thing. And here's another fun area with all these bunk beds. It's like a double at the bottom and maybe a single at the top. That's a fun design. This one has its own washer dryer, which is nice. And another bedroom with a king size bed. Great views. It's own ensuite over there, it looks like. And here's a look down into the game room. They got ping pong pool and like a game table over there, maybe. Got their own little uh, media room here. That TV looks ginormous. I don't know, is that 80 inch? Just another view off the, looks like maybe the main entrance there. Got all these outside areas to eat here, which is really nice, the picnic tables. And here's just a sort of another look into the pool, which I didn't notice this before, but it's got this ledge going around here, so you, then you can like almost use this area just to like sit down and relax it. And it probably also makes it easier to get into the hot tub. Ooh, they got a sauna. I mean, if you're into saunas, they got a sauna. There's a look into the sauna. There's another look into a bedroom and bathroom here. I love these huge showers they got. Like, just look at that thing. It's amazing. And that was our last cabin here on Verbo. That one was just super amazing with the pool and the views and how many people could sleep. So as you can see, there's a wide range of options here. We just looked at a few here, but I'd highly recommend going out and checking them out. All right, I hope you enjoyed that look at what Verbo has to offer. 
Anyway, drop me a comment down there below. Let me know which one you would choose. Also, hang out for just a little bit longer because we'll have some end cards with some video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe if you're not already. Shout out to all our subscribers out there. If you're interested in getting to know us a little bit better or just want some sweet discounts on our merch, click the join button down there below to find out more. If you're looking for a little less commitment but still want to support the channel, I'll consider heading over to our coffee page. It's a way to drop us a virtual tip. All the money goes back to supporting the channel. All right, everyone, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.